there are three focuses of the Superconscious Creator Code. And it's based on a series of working premise. Uh, a premise is a concept uh, presented as if it were true. We're not going to say it is true. It's just a, a premise that uh, really is is useful. The first focus and the first premise is personal power. Personal power uh, describes the power to create the life experience you choose. This could also be called your creative power. This isn't the power to impose your will. Uh, this is like the power that turns on a light bulb. This is like electricity. You have a personal power. The, this is very important. It's not force. It's not manipulation. In fact, manipulation force really lacks personal power. This is the first focus of the course is personal power, is that you have the power to create your reality. You, you are a conscious energy. You have this power within you. You have an electrical charge. And, and the truth is the degree to which you lack personal power is often the degree to which you experience frustration, really. And that's a big thing is, is that we make two fundamental choices out of four that, that really relate to this. Uh, and one is being the predominant creative force in your life. If you're the predominant creative force in your life, you really choose it every day. You don't have resentments. You don't have, uh, you don't have conflicts with other people that you haven't handled. You just don't have that. You don't have um, uh, frustration at yourself. You are the predominant creative force. You just have life the way you choose it. And that's very important to, to get as personal power is important. The other uh, choice that we really choose every day is to live a life we love and to love the life as it is now, but also be creating more of what we love. This is personal power. This is the first focus. And the degree to which you lack it is usually the degree to which you experience frustration and self-sabotage in your life. So personal power is must needed, is, is really stepping in that you have the power to have it as you want it. You really do. You get to have life as you want it. And very important. The second uh, focus of, uh, of a creator is to live their true nature and purpose. It's very important. Your true nature is actually your creative essence. We're, uh, human beings are creators inherently um, from, from religion to politics to, uh, to music to art to education to the building I'm in to the internet to, to automobiles and, and just just everything we're creators and we, we go into our mind and we create so the second is the true nature and purpose so true nature is to be a creator and purpose is how you're giving it to other humans how you give your your creative nature to others see what, what we're here to do and what we always find is when someone's living their true nature and purpose they're creating and sharing it the creating and sharing it and, and there's this part of this collective consciousness that wants to go into the field come up with new ideas or insights or inspiration or scientific discoveries, bring that through it, write a book, create a music, and then you share it. And so this is the second focus of being a creator is to live your true nature and purpose. When you really attune to this, you, you, you really get that that is the essence of life, is, is to live your truest nature as a creator and, and, and give it and share it. This is, this is a really good place to be. When you're in your true nature and purpose, you're, you're in the creative structure and, and nothing else matters, you know. If you have personal power and your true nature, you really are getting it, you know. And, and these are two foundational uh, aspects of being a super conscious creator is, is living personal power and also living your true nature and purpose. Uh, the last key focus is your creative process. As a super conscious creator, and we teach the five steps creative process, which is, you know, uh, you know, choose your end result, um, get into the emotion of the end result, create structural tension, recode resistance, take action. But you have a creative process. And this is how you bring your thoughts, ideas, and desires into reality. And, and see, as a creator, you get formal training on how to do this. Most of us don't understand how to use a void. Uh, to, in fact, we avoid voids. But we don't, we... Uh, we don't use a void to create. We don't know how to use structural tension to pull in genius ideas. We don't understand how to manifest. And we've never been taught. And so the third focus of a creator is you learn your creative process. You learn how to structure your life and build your life by tuning into uh, your higher self. We call it your superconscious and create. See, being success, successful or, or our success is, is having it the way you want it. That's what success is, uh, creating a life and a world for everyone the way we choose it. 
And that's why we need creators, you know, we need people here. So so if you want to create a successful business or marriage or a nice night out or a book or or some poetry or, or to be good at sports or a new body or a body without the disease that you have or or whatever it is you want to create, a new home, you know, the, the creative process is what helps you get it. That's what helps you get it. So these are the three big focuses of a creator is that you you know you find your personal power two that you live your true nature and purpose and three your creative process